it's time for another episode of This Week in Canvas. Today, we're going to be exploring some power user tips and tricks for assignments in Canvas. Stick around. This Week in Canvas starts now. Hello everyone, my name is Pat Cranley and I'm the Distance Education Coordinator at Casumna Serva College and welcome to another episode of This Week in Canvas. Today we're going to be talking about assignments and specifically how we can add to the depth and functionality of our assignments by leveraging a few powerful options in the assignment settings. Let's take a look. I've already gone ahead and opened up an assignment in edit mode and our first power user trick comes to the assignment group area down here kind of in the middle of the page. Now I've scrolled down, I'm below the rich content editor and this assignment group area allows us to organize all of our assignments instead of a simple little hierarchy. Now when you first start working with Canvas you only have one category, it's called assignments and the best way to understand and to, to kind of view the relationship between all these different categories of assignments is back at the root assignment item over here in your course nav area. So let's just jump in there real fast. So here's the default category that comes with every single Canvas shell. But perhaps I want to add another group. Maybe I want to have all of my lab assignments go into one group or all of my presentation assignments go into a third group. Well, we can do that quite simply by clicking on this little group button. Let's just type it in. I'm just going to call this essays. There we go. And now we have two ways of moving this assignment into my, my new essays group. I can either physically left click and drag like this, boop, now it's in there, that works just fine. I'm going to put it back just for the time being. Or I can go into the actual assignment itself, return to edit mode, here's the edit button, and then once again go back down into the assignment group area. Now check it out. There it is. There's that new group that I created. So there's two different ways that we can manage and organize our assignments into a whole series of groups. Our last power user trick comes at the very bottom of our assignment page. And specifically, we're going to talk about this assign to area down here at the bottom. What this allows us to do is to customize assignment times for individuals or individual sections within inside of our Canvas shell. Now right now this assignment is assigned to every single person inside this specific Canvas shell. But what if I have multiple sections that I've cross-listed into this one Canvas shell? Well, check it out. Maybe I want to have this particular assignment for the Monday-Wednesday crew to be assigned to one day and then uh, the Tuesday-Thursday section have a different due date. We'll check it out. We can do that by going in here. Let's uh, let's click on this area. Look, here's my one Monday, Wednesday section. Boop. So now only the students that are enrolled in this section will get this due date. If I wanted my Tuesday, Thursday section to have a different set of due dates to link up with their times, check it out. I'm going to add an additional assignment to section. Now this is going to be the Tuesday, Thursday section and I can give, oops, excuse me, I can give them their own series of due dates, okay, which is very, very cool. Uh, we can also do this on a per student level as well. So let's pretend that maybe we have a student that is, um, that has an excused absence. Maybe they're going on a business trip or heaven forbid they're having some sort of medical procedure done. Uh, we can give them their own series of custom due dates in this area as well. I don't have any students uh, loaded up in this course, but my students would show up in this list as well. So we can give custom due dates on a per class per section or per, per individual basis right down here at the bottom of our assignments. These settings in our assignments add another layer of functionality to an already powerful tool in our courses. If you'd like to receive instant updates on when we post new videos or if you want to participate in our online community, please subscribe to this YouTube channel by hitting the little button in the lower right hand corner. And also, please reach out to us with questions or comments by emailing the CRC Distance Education Team or by calling the CRC Canvas Helpline. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.